update to a story six on your side first brought you earlier this month. Idaho school districts continue to pioneer policies that arm trained staff members in the interest of school safety. Garden Valley School District became the first in the state to approve such a policy three years ago. Now, another Idaho school district is taking the policy one step further by allowing staff to concealed carry. Six on your side's Michael Seven reports. People are tired of having a target on their back and and uh, that's, that was my main reason for doing this. On Monday, Mountain View School District in rural North Central Idaho approved a policy allowing staff members to carry firearms. It's a policy similar to what Garden Valley School District implemented in 2014. But while Garden Valley keeps its weapons under lock and key, Mountain View is allowing concealed carry, a move they say law enforcement recommended. They felt that if we don't have a concealed carry, then there's no use to have a policy at all. So it's like a carpenter, you know, going up a ladder without a hammer. You know, you can, you've got to have your tools with you. Just like Garden Valley, Mountain View's remote location makes it hard for law enforcement to get there quickly. In some cases, up to an hour and 45 minutes. School leaders say they realize they need to do something after the tragic shooting at the Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut. And they say with their limited budget, arming staff is much cheaper than trying to pay a full-time school resource officer. We need to get this target off our back. Staffers will be armed on a volunteer basis and will have to undergo serious vetting and more than 40 hours of training. While the policy was approved this week, we won't be seeing approved guns in their district till next school year. As school leaders say they want to take the needed time to roll the policy outright. Once it's in place, they say they plan to review it constantly. One of the questions we had from one of our patrons was, did we think this was a fix-all? And, and absolutely not. You know, maybe it's not the perfect policy, but I think it's definitely in, in line with what we want to do. Michael Severin, 6 on your side.